Hi, I'm Turk Strongman at the Rank Q Amateur Rocket. Thank you for selecting this video on claiming your own. Something like that. But before I continue, it still bugs me that maybe you haven't subscribed to this channel yet. I think it's in your own best interest to do so. Now would be a good time. And while you're at it, activate the notification bell feature and share the joy of the channel with others. And by the time this video is all said and done, if you liked it, then please remember to give it a thumb up. Now with those humbling requests having been humbly uttered, let's go! Now, let's say somebody were to ask you, are you a this? Are you a that? Are you an existentialist? Are you a communist? Are you a Christian? Are you a member of the NRA? Are you a whatever? Do you belong to this? Do you subscribe to this ideology? Are, are you a, 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 did I say Buddhist? Are you a spiritualist? What are you? Well, here in my channel, I promote, I promote movements, steps away from consciousness hijacking and from perception deception, and steps toward, on the other hand, self-mastery, personal evolvement, and true selfhood. True selfhood involves true individuality. After all, at the root of affairs, uh, again here, I promote that at the core of each of our beings, if we are human, is the only part that's reliable and stable is well, that core I am, the true self. And that is where true individuality arises. That true self is not enslavable. It's not controllable by others. It's not, it's sovereign. It's sovereign. <clears throat> and at the root of affairs, the will in this state of true selfhood, the will rooted in that, the human will, the individualized human will, a un individualized instantiation of universal will, a focal point of the grid of willpower, the universal grid of willpower, is sovereign. Okay, so what I urge people here to consider is not identifying with any thing other than that. Any of them. So, somebody recently was asked, are you a, a such and such? Well, and uh, I want to share with you the, the response. I think it was a, a fairly stated one. The, an, the, an, the, the, the response uh, goes as follows. My answer is no, I am not one of those. In fact, I subscribe to no groups, categories, or to any specific ideological programs. I strive to stand as my own person upon the sovereignty of my will and acting upon my dominant desire. I have examined and temporarily taken on the main thought of many ideologies that I have encountered, which as a philosophy and religion student have been numerous, and as a good such student it is a good idea, for each has its grain of truth, and it's fair practice to assume that each initial proponent of any such main historical system knew what he or she was talking about, rather that than to consider any of them gibberish, or to quickly dismiss them on the grounds of personal bias or social conditioning. I try to take from each only what seems logical and at the same time rings intuitively true to me. 
and to apply only those parts that pointed to human dignity and freedom, and which mostly conform with nature and with the seven universal laws in the arcane teaching, which, incidentally, you will find narrated here, the arcane teaching, written by William Walker Atkinson. And I try to take from each only those parts which serve pragmatically away from what I call consciousness hijacking, I'll just insert that here, and perception deception, and instead toward self-mastery, personal involvement, and true selfhood, putting in my own words there, very similar to what I'm reading, comparable. Personally, I have felt somewhat alienated from myself when laboring for employers and getting a check. Which is relevant to what this person was asked if he's one of. I have felt somewhat alienated from myself when laboring for employers and getting a check. I know it's how the system works, and I know others feel comfortable with that, but I'm more primal, I guess. I recall that as a toddler, it I felt weird to have to open a door with my hands rather than with my mind. I had trouble with the notion of land ownership and the charging rent, although my family bought land, hand-built properties, and charged rent. And I have felt it weird to that others that people loan money out and then charge interest for it. The notion that one person could possess another in any way has seemed nasty to me. The fact that some entity could cipher from another's energy or creativity or overrun another's will has annoyed me. To me, the whole world has seemed to run oddly, and one of the last things I, or this person, ever wanted to do is to labor for someone else's financial gain. It has felt like one person hoarding at another person's expense, like making a joke at another's expense, like as somebody's at other people's handicaps or their race or any such thing, you know, just jokes at another person's expense in the name of so-called humor or for the sake of so-called humor when with a bit more creativity the person could produce a more healthy joke. So, no. Nah. I'm not a Buddhist, leftist, rightist, existentialist, spiritualist, Marxist, my own physical body, my own mind, or a plumber. No. No. As said, I strive to stand as my own person, my own man, upon the sovereignty of my will, and acting in accordance with my dominant desire. So, that's the end of that part, but that's a lot of what a person isn't, or what, let's, let's just come back to me, here, let's say that was me, that's a lot of what I'm not, so what or who am I instead, well, let's refer over to the system of Raja Yoga, um, Romana Maharshi was a rather well-known Indian yogi. I believe he was a Swami monk. I think so. I believe he belonged to the Swami order. Um, now, just throwing this in here, I once was pursuing a path, a yogi path, um, and when it came time for initiation into the Swami order, me, I then stopped because I didn't want to belong to a member of a group. I didn't want to belong and I didn't want initiated into any specific category. I didn't want to follow any specific leader. I didn't. I preferred to stand on my own. Maybe that's a good idea. Maybe it's not. Maybe such affiliations can serve as a good stepping stone. 
and in many cases they can. But I felt for me that at some point the stepping stone could turn into a stumbling block because any category has its limits. Now, but what am I? Well, Ramana Maharshi had a system to help somebody figure that out. And it was a going through a process of elimination. You'll find a similar process of elimination in, let's say, right here in this channel, when I get to uploading uh, my narration of, I think it's, it's William Walker Atkinson's, I think it's the book Raja Yoga. I have it, and it, you can look forward to it here on this channel. Process of elimination. To get to the true self. Ramana Maharshi would put somebody through a, a lengthy program of I am not this, I am not that, are you this? Think about this. He would give a person a, a way to consider these things, to experience these things like are you your mind? And then put a person through a series of, of practices, experiments, whatever, considerations, contemplations. Until the person would say, well, no, I'm not. Until all the possibilities, pretty much all the categories of possibilities, were exhausted. And what's left? At which point, the student, the disciple, the devotee, the learner, um, would have to pretty much land on, I just am. I am. And then that's coming pretty close to recognition of the true self, which is all we really are. The rest have to do with our instruments of expression, our instruments of experience, our instruments of energy control, our instruments of participating in society, etc. I urge you to think similarly because anything that falls short of that runs us dangerously close and very quickly into identifying with something that we're really not. Runs dangerously close into crystallizing a false ego identity. False ego is okay. It's component parts. They are tools and instruments of expression and experience of energy control. And we, as real, true individuals, are focal points of universal things. Will, expression, self-knowledge, potential joy, awareness, consciousness, Communication, expression, in other words, again, and the like. We are focal points, individualized focal points of these universal principles. But those are descriptions of actions. And to yourself, remains calm and still. It's the center of such control and expression, but itself is stable. That's really the only thing to count on with respect to who or what you are. Well, I recommend that as a person, 
who has persevered through this video so far and selected it and prior to that selected something having to do with this channel probably you are interested in self-mastery and personal involvement and true selfhood even if it wasn't right on the front burner of your mind at the moment you made these selections and as such a person I suggest that you take care with respect to what affiliations you subscribe to, subscribe to, and that you announce and speak of or, or just utter, believe in about with respect to who or what you are. This is a world that promotes adherence to such things, to such identities, self-identities. But they are limiting. They are limiting. You can participate but be careful what you identify with. I recommend paying close attention to that. Similarly, or analogously, let's just say you're doing a certain kind of breathing technique, a spinal breathing technique, and a technique which typically, frequently for people, involves some kind of phenomena that will pop up. Maybe mentally seeing entities up here on the screen of your consciousness. Or maybe you'll develop some kind of psychic ability along the way. Now let's say your initial goal is movement toward true selfhood. Okay? In Buddhism, we might say enlightenment. In Hinduism, we might say liberation of the soul. We might say, as a Christian, eternal salvation. Okay. But along the way, something pops up and it gets your attention. Let's just go back to, you develop a psychic ability. These things can happen on the path of attainment along the way. Should those things now distract you, get your attention to the point where you now pursue that thing that popped up? Maybe it gives you, maybe, maybe it's interesting to you. Maybe it gives you a sense of power. Maybe it appeals to your false ego in some way. Maybe you start seeing more money roll in. Whatever. Should you now divert your attention, which your energy is going to follow, over to that thing? Like, oh! Hey, I can now see auras. I can now, I can now telementate or do telepathy with other people. I can now read minds. I can now see microscopically. I can now make a lot of money. I can, whatever, whatever. Should that now become the goal? Should it be considered that now you're on the way? So I'm just going to focus on this thing now for a while and make that bigger and better? If you're doing the spinal breathing technique and you start seeing entities, should you now pay attention to the entities, get to know who and what they are? Maybe they'll offer you gifts. 
Maybe they'll offer some kind of an exchange. Maybe they'll say, hey, I can show you the way. Is this what there is to do? No. No. You keep focused on the goal. If, if some kind of a special gift or skill is added on to you along the way, then okay. But is, should it become the focal point of your attention? No. No. It's just a thing. It's just a thing. You keep going the way you were. You keep on doing what you were doing. You keep on with, you keep focusing on the spinal breathing practice. You keep your eyes on the highest goal, which does not involve identity with any such things. Does not involve getting all caught up in any such thing. Strive to be your own. Strive to stand as your own person. Upon the sovereignty of your will. And acting in accordance with your dominant desire. You don't have to be a this or a that. There's no requirement. It's not necessary. If you want to play a role. In order for you know, to get along better in society, to gain better cooperation from others in the world. We, no man is an island here. We do need to live in accordance with the social contract of the society we live in. We need to obey its laws, to reap the rewards of it. But it's just a role, guys. And you don't have to proclaim or believe, or in any other way. Adhere as some kind of an identity thing with any of that. Well, thank you for selecting this video on standing as your own. I hope you liked the video, did you? Did it, did it irk you? Did, did you have did any response at all? Well then, that's in favor of the video, right? Then give it a thumb up. Let me know. And if you feel like it, go ahead and make it a positive, constructive, and friendly comment down below here. Thanks again. And uh, if you didn't do it yet, subscribe to the channel. I really do think it's in your own best interests. And while you're at it, like I said, at the outset here, go ahead and activate the notification bell feature while you're at it and uh, share the joy of the channel with others, okay? This is the Ron Q. Ramachirak, and I'm Turk Strongman. Be well, and peace be with you.